Are Can you, we finish working on the car before you start harassing us or what? Well, I'm not harassing you. I mean, you yeah, got, you are. You're, you're, you're blocking a private yeah, road, right? And we told okay. you why we're blocking so, it, sir. Right, and I want to know who's here just in case if something comes up later. I want to know what's going on. Okay? Yeah, ain't nothing. That's not your it's, business. That's my job. No, right? it's not. Absolutely. We're not committing a crime. We're stuck. Okay. I'm, I'm not talking We're not driving. person that's responsible for the vehicle, okay? Yeah. They hurry up and run my shit. I'm going to drop this shit real quick, bro. Now, there's a saying in the First Amendment audits community. That saying is, there's not a situation that police can't make worse. This video is evidence that police are not here to be of service to the community, but rather be nuisances and extortionists. Welcome back to my channel, Sam Joaquin Jr. Today's video is taking place somewhere in Crook County, Wyoming, and it involves a Crook County Sheriff's Office. This video is coming to us from Ricky Martinez, so be sure to head on over to his channel and give him credit for this video. Now, a little over a month ago, Ricky uploaded this video to his channel, and it seems that he was making his way through Cook County, from what I can assume. As he's trying to head home, from what I can gather, he blows a tire out. And he has to pull over, no matter what. But as you can see, kind of in the video, it's kind of shaky, but if you pay attention, this looks like a um, freeway with uh, maybe two two-way lanes. Um, there doesn't look like there's much easement on the side of these roads to pull over onto. So that kind of forces Ricky to find any spot that he can pull over. Unfortunately, that ends up being on this entryway to private property. But, you know, that comes down to the homeowner or the property owner and Ricky. That doesn't have to involve police at all until that homeowner or property owner tells Ricky to leave. None of that has taken place so far in the video. All what happens is that Ricky gets out, tries to change the tire, and as he's doing so, that's when Deputy Tablock comes up on them. So with that being said, let's watch the video and see what you guys think. What's your name, sir? Deputy Tadlock, Kirk County Sheriff's Office. Uh, what's your, what's your badge number? 1814. 1814. That's the 1814 Is there a reason why you're asking for my license, though? Yeah, there's no reason he should be Charles asking. Charles Boy 068 out of California. It's on a tan Chevrolet. Can I ask you a question? Can we finish working on the car before you start harassing us or what? Well, I'm not harassing you. I mean, yeah, yeah you you're, are. You're, you're blocking a private yeah, road, right? And we okay. told you why we're blocking so, it, sir. Right, and I want to know who's here just in case if something comes up later. I want to know what's going on. Okay? Yeah, ain't nothing. That's not it's, your it's, business. That's my job. No, right? it's not. Absolutely. We're not committing a crime. We're stuck. Okay. I'm, I'm not talking We're not driving. person that's responsible for the vehicle, okay? Yeah. They hurry up and run my shit. I'm going to drop this shit real quick, bro. You guys have film service for tow trucks or something? I think so. Can you help? Not no more, sir. That would have been nice to ask if you first approached us. I were, I, were, I approached you respectfully. I asked him for his driver's license. It was hey, you guys question. are right. This is a public I'm, driveway. Right. I'm, I, I'm asking. Is there anything I could help out with? Not. And oh, it, you got driver's license registration. It was a simple question. Can we figure all that shit out after? Question. I need to know who I'm talking to. Okay. All right. It's a simple question. All right. We'll figure it so, out. If not, I'm sure someone else will call the cops on us. Here's nobody called the cops. I saw you sitting here. I came to check on things. Um, here's your driver's license, okay? So if you guys don't have access to cell phone service for a tow truck, I can get one started this way, okay? Because the problem is, is I can't let you drive down the road with that because too. it's unsafe. We're not driving down the road. We're going to just move it out of your private driveway. Right, but then if you cross that, you're on private property. So we're not going to say you're trespassing. We could just turn around and so, park going the same way. Do you so. want to call a tow truck or do you want me to call a tow truck? That's his insurance, not mine. I'll call the tow truck. If not, I'll call you guys. Okay, well that's what I'm saying. I'm here now. Which is, it's already. I got your place. I, I got you, sir. I'm calling right now. I thought I move out your way. I'm gonna have to pay for it, or is it free? Well, you probably have to pay for it either way. All right, my insurance. I have. It'll if pay you have for insurance, it. then yes, your insurance right, will cover. You have to give me 30 minutes. Don't move my car out the way, sir. Don't go past that line, bro. That's private property. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. All right. Get you for trespassing. Yes, sir. So did they sell you the car with the too small of a spare? No, it was my uncle's, but oh, okay. it had the same car, but I think his uh, rims is a little small. It's, it's the same set, but it's smaller diameter. Yeah, it's just like your bearings and stuff yeah all right that seems like a perfect time to stop the video do you see the complete 180 that deputy tadlock did not only is he trying to save face but he's being condescending when he tries to say he wasn't acting like an ass hat at first these guys are clearly trying to change their tires so what's the reason to demand their id 
There was no call placed to serve a trespass warning, nor was there any traffic code violation. Deputy Tablock wanted to seemingly take advantage of the situation and see if he can issue a ticket or probably arrest one of these guys. Rather than be of assistance or service like he was employed to do, he chooses to still run a warrant check for no apparent reason. They say we employ police to serve the people, but oftentimes we see them extorting the people by trying to look for any and all things to charge them with. This is not some outlier or rogue cop either. This is how they are trained to engage the people. Deputy Tablock admits that he thinks it's his job to make sure other people's private property is secured. In reality, his job is to enforce the law and not harass people in a time of need. You ready? All that good shit. If you take that, there you go. I was gonna say you can take that bar to pry it off. If they have one open. I'm cooked for. They're trying to get a wheel back on. Get them out of the driveway here. I'll call you back, bro. I need call the insurance. Alright, bye. Well, thanks for making sure we're safe. I'm not being sarcastic. No, thank good. you for having a squad car right there. So no one just comes driving up, trying to start problems with this or something. There's a tow company in Sundance. Sundance? Yeah. Well, I, it's I like pay for 20 they, minutes down the road. They give me, they give me free towing. Okay. So they, they'll contact the tow people and if uh, if they ask, it's planes towing. Planes? Like planes? Okay, planes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes down the road. Have you had a prior run in with law enforcement that didn't go so well? Um, That's none of your business, sir. I'm just asking. It's none of your business. Just Some people, people have PTSD, don't. you know, because sometimes they've had, you know, Experiences where people just come and harass them for no reason. I understand that. Instead of asking them for help. That's all I'm asking. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to offer you some help here. I mean, not before you just... But just as much as you wanted to know who I was, I'd like to know who was who's responsible for the vehicle. In yeah, case we, something came up later, you we know pay for you guys' taxes, man. That's what police I mean, officers I, I don't I do understand. Too, I pay taxes. Yeah, so... But it's, if somebody calls in about something... It's for the people. It's not for your job, though. Right, but I, I have a responsibility to take care of people here, too, in the community. That's fine. And if these people called in, and we happen to stop by, a, and we happen to stop by in you guys' community, and get instead of asking like, "Hey, you guys all right? You know, everything all right? Yeah, we just had a blowout. The spare didn't work how we thought it was. We'll get it on. We'll get out the way. Right. Anything else happens, you read the plate already. And you and know and who I, it is. It was a simple question that, that got misinterpreted. I just nothing, nothing else drop is it, happening, bro. right? I'm just trying to give you a tow truck off. Yeah, it would just been nice if you offered the tow truck option first. Uh, and then like, can yeah, I get some I believe so, not really, so but yeah, I I'm in someone's driveway because I got a flat and my car's gonna work and, and I ain't, I'm gonna yeah, need but, a tow. It's like, when you come up, like, stepping up, like, oh, you blocking the driveway, I'm gonna need some ID, yeah, some I'm registration I'm or whatever. I'm sort of but I'm in it's front like, of someone's, hey, like, uh, it's a private it's like driveway, a you know, um, uh, everything uh, alright? Like, no, we could explain like our story driveway, to you. You guys need a tow like, or whatever. Yeah, but okay. the didn't work. That's it, bro. Like, it don't I'm have to come out safe. like, like, I don't know, it just, maybe it's just the way I perceive things in this life. But, sometimes I just. I'm not saying to apologize. You feel I came at you the wrong way, but at the same time, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I'm trying to figure out who's responsible for the vehicle and get all this figured out right. So, yeah, I know. It's your job. That, that's all it is, man. So, if you guys can get this out of here. Yeah, well, and like I said, if you need truck, if oh, you need a tow truck, oh, yeah, coming, got you. We're just going to park it right here along the side. Okay. Nothing too bad. Well, um, I'm going to flip it backwards or something. Sure. So. All right. I'll Alright, that's the end of the interaction with Deputy Tablock and Ricky and his friend. Now, 
I'm going to pivot here into a bigger picture conversation. The government has done a good job of hijacking the American mind and putting the people against each other. Whether through social media influence or the long-standing various news networks, they pump propaganda that consistently pulls on the heartstrings of individuals, thus creating a divide between the masses. This allows them to operate the way they do and keep making decisions with our money without any real interference. While at one point, our government was created with the best intentions of trying to grow and establish a free life from taxes, it has ultimately become the thing it has set out to oppose. The government as a whole is extorting the people through taxes, unnecessary citations, and petty fines. The thing that we the people have yet to recognize as a whole is that the government is connected at all levels, from our local government to the big wigs up top. If police are enforcing bogus laws, it's because those at the top have found a way to fine people for something so petty and get away with it. Now let me just say this to wrap it all up here. You can't despise politicians and give police a pass, just like you can't scrutinize the police and give politicians a pass. The sooner that people are able to recognize that on a bigger level, the sooner we can begin to create real change. Unfortunately, there's still arguments over racism, heroism, and the other nonsensical bullshit that doesn't get us anywhere. I know that was a lot over a simple police interaction, but it's the reason why officers like Deputy Tablock are predatorial, because they're trained to be. Big props to Ricky Martinez for exposing this deputy for being a damn tyrant. Make sure you all head over to his channel and subscribe. Oh, don't forget to let him know that Sam Joaquin Jr. sent you.